Death plays a very real and significant part in the lives of families because it's what we prepare for. We recognise it's real. We recognise that all of us walk through the, the doors of death. Well, my father, who is 78 years old, has cancer. We're preparing for that and talking through the processes so that everybody in the family is well prepared for when the time comes that we have to part ways. It certainly has its challenges, but at the same time I feel honoured that I'm able to, to be here for him. Yeah. The story was that when there were any wayward youth in the village of Matatufu, the council of chiefs and orators would say to those youth, go to Letope where Aupito lives and learn some manners from my father and his brother and his sister. Because they were an example of people that were really respectful and polite, were kind-hearted. Dad was like a typical Samoan father, very strict, especially when it comes to his daughters. Well, you know those old phones? He actually put a padlock on those phones when boys started ringing the house. We weren't allowed to date or have a boyfriend um, until we were older. And if any boy came to the door, he would just chase them back outside. So my name's uh, Aupito Rolesio Popu. I was born in Samoa. My father is the last of his generation. He is the paramount chief of our family and has full authority over all our land holdings in Samoa and full authority over all the other Matai titles. My family is very important. The first priority in my life family. Without a family, what's the point? Yeah. My family, like many families, came to New Zealand in the 60s um, for work purposes. But it was also the dreams and aspirations of our parents that the children be given every opportunity for good education, for a good future and to help the families back in the islands. So it was 1969 they migrated here and I think that must have been taken in the 70s. For a number of years now, he's asked us to undertake a process where he has wanted to bequeath that title on somebody in the family. That's why I decided I'll transfer my name, uh, title name, I chief our people to uh, Sua. Sua. Sua is more like um, he's the son that's always there for the father. It's like now the head of the family, even though the father is still alive. Nothing's changed in my mind's eye, even though he's bequeathed on me the Alpito title. I've asked the family that we still honour and respect them um, in the same way that we've always done. It means a lot. If anything happens to Albito, you know, he will stand up as the head of the family. Now we know that this has been his plan, he's not well. And therefore we need to now plan for when the time comes when we do have to say farewell to him, which means where do we bury him? And normally in the old days, that would not be a big issue. We would simply say he would be buried in front of the meeting house of our family. Um, for a long time my dad always said to us that he didn't want to be buried in Samoa. He wanted to be here where we are and he also felt that 
that will be a burden on us. If they decide to bury me here in New Zealand where we are, that's good, uh, that's good enough for me. After the last time we went to Samoa, I think our children were the ones that surprised us. We all had a discussion in one of the rooms. They all said that they felt that that grandpa wanted to be laid at his home in Samoa. I think the potential of losing my father is something that I'm not looking forward to because that's an end of an era and it means also that the full weight of responsibility then falls on me.